everyone, welcome to Mahalo Daily. I'm Veronica Belmont, and today I'm joined by Avi Myers, who is the CEO of Unicat Americas. And I kind of feel like I'm in an episode of Cribs right now. <laughs> Explain what we're doing right now. Where are we? So these vehicles are designed, engineered, and built to take you virtually anywhere you want to go in the world. They can go from the heat of the Sahara to the cold of the North Pole. They can go through up to four feet of water. Wow. They can go up a 60% incline. When we lower the tire pressure, we can go right through any desert without sinking. And uh, they are fully self-sufficient. They typically carry enough food, water, equipment, and supplies to be out in total wilderness for months at a time. So this particular vehicle really can be called a land yacht. A land yacht. A land yacht, a true land yacht. And like any yacht, it should have some kind of an escape vehicle or a lifeboat. So for us, this motorcycle serves as that lifeboat. In back of it, there's a 15,000 pound hydraulic winch and another winch in the back. Uh, this vehicle is a factory standard vehicle, 4x4, four four, and we can also get it in a 6x6. Six six. It has a 310 horsepower engine with 950 pounds of torque. This particular vehicle carries twin 120 gallon tanks of fuel, which at 60 miles per hour gives us at 8 miles to the gallon just under 2,000 mile range. So at current gas prices, about how much would it cost in US dollars to fill that tank? About $800. $800. It's wow. much cheaper than filling the tank of a yacht. Here we have a spare tire. For extended expeditions, we would carry an extra one up on the roof. We carry a 15-foot Zodiac inflatable boat with a 25 horsepower outboard motor. And this whole rack comes down also. Mm -hmm. Here we have a very large storage area. And in here, we carry twin 30-pound tanks of propane, a freezer, and a reverse osmosis water maker. Oh, neat. That's very cool. Storage is not a problem. This truck relies for its power uh, on six 4D batteries, three 123-watt solar panels, and an 8-kilowatt generator. And in order to enable us to go through water, we pressurize this compartment. So as air pressure goes out, no water can come in. The inside is totally decked out. We have one, two, three actually GPS units, which is good, as you said, in case you're lost in the middle of the Sahara. We have an iPod dock, multi-disc CD changer, a remote, basically everything you could possibly want in a vehicle of this kind. Here we have a queen size bed, flat panel TV, DVD combo, We've got two air conditioning units, two refrigerators, microwave oven, fully organized drawers, oven, range. So how much is one of these going to throw you back? This particular model, equipped as you see it, retails for $600,000. That's a, that's a pretty penny right there. So, do you need any special kind of license to drive one of these? This is categorized as an RV, so you're completely exempt. You drive it on a regular driver's license. Interesting. Well, they wouldn't let me drive a Tesla, but damned if I'm leaving here without driving one of these. Let's go. 